You can still see it on his face. Tom Frost's immense grief two decades after losing his daughter in the worst terror attack on U.S. soil. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda shares how he's keeping her memory alive. That's the one thing that's always been my bane all these years is her picture's not on here. After 20 years for Tom Frost, there is still pain and there is love. This is the Lisa Frost Memorial in Rancho Santa Margarita. The 22-year-old graduate from Boston University was on her way home to California when her United Airlines flight crashed into the World Trade Center. I still miss her more today than I did yesterday, and I'll miss her more tomorrow than I did today, but it's, uh, it's something that I just live with. He vividly remembers that terrible day. He was at work when someone told him to turn on the TV. The first building was already burning. Out of the left side of the screen comes a plane and explodes into the side of the building and I had no idea. I just saw my daughter get killed live on TV. And it's a memory I'll have to bear with me for the rest of my life. I first interviewed Tom 20 years ago and several times after that. He showed me Lisa's room at the time and the memories that kept her spirit alive. And this haunting image, Lisa's credit card that was found in the debris. Because this has never quit, Lisa, to me, sometimes is still here. A few years ago, he was able to set up this beautiful memorial with a tree along the lake. And the metal fence around Lisa's tree is also symbolic. As you can see, it has five sides. That's supposed to symbolize the Pentagon. And there are two spires. This is supposed to symbolize each of the towers of the World Trade Center. Tom says over the years, the money he received from the 9-11 Relief Fund has been used to do good in Lisa's name. There's a scholarship for students at Boston University. When I meet a scholarship recipient at Boston University a few years back, and she tells me that she would not have been able to make it into Boston University, her parents could not quite afford it, and Lisa's scholarship threw her over the top. That makes me feel so wonderful that I could do something tangible to say thank you instead of just words. Tom says he has been devoted to Lisa's memory and that will continue for the rest of his life. I was out for a run one day with, and met up with a woman here in Rancho and, and she says, oh, oh, I know you, you're, you're Lisa Frost, Dad. And I said, yeah, what's my name? She goes, uh, Bob? And it's like, yeah, see, that, that's it. You remember Lisa's name and that's what I want. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.